Hey everybody, in this video, we're taking a look at the major differences between LED and OLED TVs. Then we're gonna take a look at both technologies from Sony, which is our favorite video company here at Audio Advice. First, we'll get into the pros and cons of each technology. Be sure to check out our full article on audioadvice.com, which we will link in the description if you wanna learn more. Now let's get started. Now when flat panel TVs first came to market around the year 2000, they were all plasmas. Later LED models came out that were more cost effective, lighter and in some cases had a brighter picture. However, many diehard plasma TV owners still swore by the pure blacks a plasma TV could reproduce. Later, OLED TVs hit the market with some offering black levels that rivaled or even better those coveted by high performance plasma TVs. Initially, the OLED sets were very expensive, but today, if you're looking for a better than average TV, you'll be confronted with a choice of either OLED or LED type technology. Obviously, there are other large video companies out there, but for us, it comes down to the best picture quality and the best customer service. Sony is the only company that makes commercial movie and TV cameras, professional video editing consoles, and the projectors used in the best movie theaters all over the world. They really touch every single part of the process and their deep knowledge about filmmaking, allows them to deliver a truly unique lens to living room experience that is closer to an authentic experience of the creator's intent. To our eyes, the picture on Sony TVs just looks a lot more natural than the other brands. And we feel this is due to all the great technologies Sony has developed over the decades to process the picture better. Some TVs may appear to be brighter or jump out more when you first see them, but if you watch for more than 10 minutes, you'll notice they just do not look natural. The other aspect is customer service. Normally, you'll never have an issue with a television, but there are those rare occasions where someone does. In our 40 years of experience selling Sony, we can say they stand behind their products far better than other competing brands. And there is just no comparison. If there is a problem, they make it right. Now, LED type TVs have a liquid crystal panel that forms the picture, but this panel does not create any light itself. That is the job of LEDs placed behind the panel. The first LED TVs use what is called edge lit with LEDs surrounding all four sides, just the left and right side or top and bottom or even just the bottom. Tiny dispersion lenses are used to spread the light evenly across the screen, and this type is still made today as the most cost effective, but we do not feel it has the best picture. Later, direct lit LED TVs came out where the LEDs were spread evenly behind the LCD panel, but they could not be individually controlled, and usually there were less than 100, but these offered better performance for the time. Then, full array LED TVs entered the market with hundreds of LEDs behind the LCD panel, and better yet, this technology allowed for the control of zones on the screen or even down to each LED. The models with the best control are called full array local dimming. Now this tech can produce a very bright and vivid image with excellent contrast. The very best full array local dimming displays use hundreds of light emitting diodes or LEDs to create the light source behind the panel. Since there are so many diodes in this type of panel, they can be turned on and off or even dimmed in various zones to control the bright levels better, giving you a very bright picture and a contrast ratio that will look great even if your room has a lot of natural light coming in. Now last year, all of the better Sony LED TVs used the XR Contrast Booster to control the backlink technology in this type of LED panel. But this year, only one Bravia XR model, the Entrypoint X90K series, uses this type of LED tech. The better models this year are upgraded to mini LED technology controlled by Sony's unique XR backlight master drive processing. Now OLED, which is short for organic light emitting diode, is the other major display technology. While the structure is simpler than a conventional LED TV, the panels cost quite a bit more to manufacture. With this tech, there is no need for backlighting by LEDs since the diode emits its own light. The great side effect of this is when the diode turns off, you get pure black without having to rely on zones to control the levels of light being emitted. And this means you also get what is an almost perfect contrast ratio. 
Now, both LED and OLED technologies can produce amazing pictures, but as I said earlier, we feel a lot of the quality of the picture comes down to the video processing that occurs before the signal even gets to the panel. Whether it's an LED type or OLED, Sony actually buys its panel technology from different manufacturers, but then applies its own video processing for that wonderful Sony picture. Last year, the XR processor provided the biggest picture improvement over previous models, and it was a huge leap forward in technology. You can learn more about the Cognitive Processor XR in our 2022 Sony TV overview, and we'll link to that in the description. But this year, Sony has delivered the biggest enhancements to picture quality we have ever seen, with new models featuring the latest and greatest advancements in LED and OLED panel tech. Along with a new full array, LED and OLED models, Sony has introduced their first ever mini LED televisions, the X95K Premium Series and Z9K Master Series, plus their first ever QD OLED, the A95K Master Series. So which tech is best for you? We feel it will come down to five things. Your environment, off-axis viewing, gaming, screen size, and price. The environment is still probably the most important aspect. While OLED display type TVs have increased their ability to throw out more light, they in general still do not have the ability to overcome a brightly lit room. LED TVs on the other hand can give you a great picture in a room that has a lot of light in the space. So if you are the type of person who wants the deepest blacks, best contrast, and watches TV in a dark or dimly lit room, our advice is you will prefer OLED. If your viewing is mostly going to happen with a lot of light in the room, or you just love the pop of a bright image, go with LED. Both Premium Series and Master Series OLEDs in Sony's 2022 lineup all have the new type of high luminance panel that works with the XR processor to allow more light output. And this makes OLED a bit closer to LED in light output, but we still get the edge to LED for pop and pure output. However, Sony's new QD OLED will give you an even bigger boost in color brightness of up to 200% compared to conventional OLED tech. For off-axis viewing, OLED is the winner by far. If you are sitting off-axis, there is not much change at all with OLED. The nature of LED sets and the LEDs behind the LCD panel mean they are designed to be viewed straight on. So if you're 30 degrees or less off axis, you'll be fine with LED. For a steeper angle, you would prefer OLED. But remember, you do need a light controlled room for the best picture with OLED. This, however, is not the case with the new QD OLED technology, since color and luminance have both been taken to the next levels. This new technology does not rely on color filters, so color and luminance remain vivid and bright even when viewed off axis, and it's super cool. For gamers, most TVs these days will have greatly improved the input lag, which used to be a big deal for gamers. However, OLED still holds an advantage in that it has a faster response time than LED. Since conventional LED sets are designed to be viewed straight on, many gamers may prefer LED type sets, especially if they do not have a way to control the lighting coming into the room, which could cause some reflections on your screen while playing your game. You may not even need the wider viewing angles of OLED TVs if you are someone who spends a lot of time gaming in a well-lit room directly in front of your TV. But the input lag and the faster response time of OLEDs will likely give the most serious gamers a slight competitive advantage. Whether you choose an OLED or an LED type TV to game on, all of Sony's best TVs this year have at least two HDMI 2.1 inputs on board. Not only can you connect two next gen gaming consoles with these two inputs, but you can also get the speed benefits of 48 gigabits per second, peak bit rate, and 120 frames per second on 4K content. The great news is this reduces latency to as low as 8.5 milliseconds with Sony's ALLM game mode for a big edge in shooting, sports, and other games for instant on-screen action. However, if you're going with OLED, this year Sony introduced a new Master Series OLED model that comes in smaller 42-inch and 48-inch sizes that will be great for gaming. There's even a high-position stand available that turns the TV into a high-performance OLED gaming monitor. Now, the average TV size sold today is 65 inches, and you'll find many choices for both types in this size. However, once you go larger, there are no Sony choices in OLED and above 
83 inches. So if you are looking at a super large screen, you will likely go with an LED type. Although we are happy to see new 77 inch OLED displays positioned in the Sony lineup this year at a great value. Finally, price is where things have gotten even trickier for 2022. It used to be that OLED sets cost far more than the same size LED, and they still do, but they have gotten a lot closer. For most people serious about getting a great picture, I think it will come down to their viewing environment. If you can control the lighting in your room, OLED will still be the best choice for not that much more in cost if you were considering a 55-inch or a 65-inch TV. But as you get larger in OLED, the prices do start to jump up. All right, that concludes our take on the major differences between LED and OLED. As you can see, the differences are getting more difficult to discern, especially with all the enhancements Sony is able to do with its unique processing capabilities. There are some really good options on the market, but we feel Sony's technology offers the best performance in every environment we test. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. And if you have any questions about LED or OLED TVs, just give us a call, chat with our experts at audiovice.com or just stop into one of our award-winning showrooms and see them for yourself. We'll be happy to help you out. We'll see you next time.